Hi everybody, my name is Todd Parks. I am the teacher trainer of instructional technology and today I'm going to talk about drives and saving your files and the difference between a C drive or your desktop versus your H drive and why we need to back up our files to our H drive. So it's a pretty simple process. What we're going to talk about is the difference between our C drive or our desktop where we tend to default and save files to versus our H drive. The C drive is the hard drive of our computer and it's used for storing all of our files and programs and things that make our computer run correctly. Our H drive is a place to store all of our files and it's backed up to our servers. So if you log into a different computer, but with your credentials within our network, you're gonna have access to your H drive and therefore you'll have access to all of your files. You don't have to worry about having your computer if you save to your H drive. The other great part about an H drive is if your computer crashes, you are completely backed up using H drive. C drive, you're gonna lose everything. Oh my no, God! No, God, please, no! 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 H drive, you're fine. So we wanna get used to backing things up on our H drive. So how do we do this? I'm on my desktop. You can see that I have a fairly clean desktop. I've got a couple of documents here that I'll walk you through, but I'm going to go down to my file folder and I'm going to open it up and I'm going to talk about everything that is on this PC. We don't have to worry about our C drive. Our C drive has our program files and different things, like I said, that make the computer work. But all of the files that we're talking about are going to happen to be in these categories. I don't have any 3D objects, but I do have some things on my desktop. I'm sure many of you have a lot more than I do. Documents, downloads, maybe music, pictures, videos, all of these we are going to transfer into our H drive. You'll find it with your name and find the H that's in parentheses. Here's how it works. I don't have any 3D objects, so I'm not going to worry about that one. But for my desktop, I had those two files at the beginning right there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on it and you can see that they both pop up. And if I right click and go down to send to, we are going to find the option of our H drive right here. This is going to make a copy of those files right to my H drive. And if I click on my H drive right now, it made a copy of my desktop. There it is. One of the things that I like to do is rename it so that I understand that I've backed it up. So maybe say desktop backup and then you can put the date usually after that if you want to so that you know. But also the date modified tells you when the last time you backed it up was. You're gonna do this for all of the other categories that we have. Okay, so there was nothing in my 3D objects or music folders, so there was no reason to back them up. But what I wanted to show you was if I take my desktop now and I delete these off of the desktop, and I'll physically do it here, they're now gone. If I go back to my desktop, you'll see they have been removed. But on my H drive, those two files will still be there safe and for me to edit whenever and however I want. That's it. Now that we have everything saved, we want to get ourselves into the habit of defaulting to saving to our H drive rather than the computer. That way we know that we will always be backed up. 